Hello, stampers and fellow paper crafters. This is Cindy Lynn with My Inky Fingers. Thank you so much for visiting me today on my YouTube channel and blog. Today is super fun. Now, I'm going to record this with a live voice because I want you to experience everything the way I experience it, and that's really difficult to do with a voiceover. I am going to make a card with the prod um, the results of what I'm going to show you guys today but I may make that a part two to this video for time. So what is this video about? This video is all about getting the alcohol ink effect with your Stampin' Up! reinkers or any other water-based reinker. I have seen this over and over and over on YouTube and I want to go and buy all of the pigments and all of the supplies but why? I mean, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so it really doesn't do me any good. So I figured there's got to be a way. So I started looking on YouTube, and there was a gal who did a video um, with this really cool technique that somewhat looked like the alcohol effect, but it was on watercolor paper. I will uh, mention her in the description below on my YouTube and in the description on my blog. But the problem with that was... You had to leave the product lay overnight. I'm going to show you what it is and what she did, which was really great. But this is basically what you're going to need. You're going to need some saran wrap. You're going to need a water spray bottle. Um, I'm doing a video. It may or may not be up yet, but um, a shimmer spray. And this is a Stampin' Up! mixture that I made. Your favorite colors of reinkers. I will list all the reinkers I use down below. And the all-purpose all inks. The... Um, champagne and the frost white a paintbrush and some gloves yes i'm my inky fingers but not my inky hands so i have to wear gloves for this because i tried this out last night and i didn't wear gloves and i mean i've done dishes i don't know how many times and i still have like ink all over me so and i'm going for dinner here in about an hour and a half my mom has uh asked if she could treat me to dinner so actually before i put my gloves on I'm going to show you guys some of the effects here. So watercolor paper you'll also need. But what this gal did was she um, used some saran wrap. And I, thank God, have a big hefty thing of Kirkland from Costco and folded them. Now, I chose to fold them in four. So I just took out, let me unravel this. Well, it's kind of hard to unravel now. That's folded in half. And then I folded it in half one more time. Because the idea was to get this crinkle effect on your saran wrap. And then you just kind of put some reinkers on it, which I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. And then you put it on your watercolor paper. And then she mentioned in the video that you have to leave it overnight. Well, if you're like me and impatient, I was like, I don't got to leave that overnight. I'm just going to do it all and then I'm going to lift it up and that's what I got and I was like wow that's kind of a hot mess I mean you know this might be good for something but that was not at all what she had done so she pulled one out that she had let dry the night before and this did not look anything like it so I thought okay I'll let them dry overnight so I got up this morning lifted this one and it actually I didn't even have to lift it it just came right off no problem and I thought okay well that's a little that's kind of cool and I did use some of the um, champagne mist. So I've got a little bit of like gold veining in here, which is kind of cool. So I wasn't terribly disappointed with that. This one I really liked because I loved the way these colors were working together. So I was like, I'm pleased with that. Now this is this morning, of course, right? Last night I had no idea what these were going to look like. This one, um, I was pretty pleased with this one too. So this one, I'll let you guys know the colors. This one was... Pacific Point and Melon Mambo. This one was Pacific Point and Mango Melody. This one was Flirty Flamingo and Balmy Blue. And then this one would look really cool fall, like if you cut leaves out of it. And this one is the um, Pumpkin Pie, Melon, uh, no, Mango Melody and... Bermuda Bay. That's what that one was. So that was kind of cool. And then I got thinking, well, what if I, instead of spraying it with water, which I'm going to show you guys how you do that and spray it with water, what if I sprayed it with 
like some uh, shimmer spray. Now the shimmer spray that I had mixed up had a heat protectant hairspray in it. So it's kind of sticky, right? So this one didn't just come off and I went to lift it and it is like the saran wrap is completely stuck. So it wants to rip all my watercolor paper. I mean, a lot of my watercolor paper is tearing off here. So I was so disappointed because I'm going to show you guys what I did to make this so you don't have to wait overnight. And this was just, I was so disappointed. I mean, here, let's just go for it. Let's just rip the Band-Aid off. Yeah. So that was disappointing. But you know what? I'll save this for scrap um, watercolor paper. So I'll put that in my drawer. But anyhow, these are, they're, they're, they're cool. I mean, you've got a cool effect. But I thought, there's got to be a way to do this and get a really cool watercolor effect and not have to wait overnight. So I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> I'm going to make you wait. I'm going to show you how to do this one really quick. I'll do two and then I'll show you what I did with the watercolors. Now I'm going to reuse these that I used last night because why not? They're right here and I may as well reuse them, right? So let's recreate this one. This one was Mango Melody, Pacific Point. You know, I think that's actually all it was. I don't think I had Bermuda Bay in here. Now, what I did, just a quick tip, I pulled out my color wheel because what this does is you select the color. So let's say we go to blue. And if we add yellow to blue, it makes green. If we add blue to blue, it makes blue. If we add white, it makes a lighter. If you add black, it makes a darker. But you can kind of move it around and you can see yellow and green make brown. That's mud, right? So you don't, you don't want to mix yellow and green too close together. So I used this as a guide to kind of help me. So orange and blue make gray, so that's kind of muddy. So I used this as a guide just to kind of help me mix my colors. Um, I'm not a color expert by any stretch of the means, so this definitely comes in handy for me. So what you're going to do, we're going to move this one out of the way. We're going to bring in our, our I'm going to use the one that doesn't have any red. This one looks like the color of this that I already used. I'm going to put on my gloves. Okay, now here's the, what the, the, the gal did in the video that I watched. She's going to spray this with water. And then if you turn it over and spray it on the other side with water, it'll help prevent it from curling, right? So now she dropped quite a bit of ink and I am reserving, I guess. So I just kind of squish it and touch. Um, I don't do the entire drip. I just kind of put it down and let it touch the actual saran wrap. So I give it a good tap when I'm doing it, and I find that that reserves my ink and not a whole lot comes out all at one time. So this is wet, your watercolor paper, but you're also going to spray this. The more you spray it, the more that's going to move around. And I actually splattered over here, but I kind of like that effect, actually. That's a cool idea. I might have to run with that. So you're going to put this down over top and... I've got a bunch of paper towels here to sop up this little these bits that come around the back. So flip it over and you can see here I'll lift whoops, I don't want to lift up the paper towel. Where's my take your pick? Okay, so you can see here that that's already creating that really cool effect. So I'm gonna leave that exactly like it is. I'm not going to you can go and push around your, your saran wrap and just kind of move the ink. Because it's watercolor paper, it'll move pretty good. But I like that, so I'm gonna leave it exactly like that. And then we'll bring in our second piece. And we will do, let's do this one, because this one was really cool. So this was Mango Melody and Bermuda Bay, I believe. I wrote on the backs of my other ones that really turned out well what I used, so. This looks like the same color so we'll go mango melody now on this one I'm gonna add in the um, all-purpose ink just so that I can show you guys how to do that on the watercolor paper there you go so you could hear me tapping that right 
So I'm going to add the champagne mist and I'm going to take my take your pick and I'm going to flip it over to the other side. I bent it this morning. I forgot I had this side out and I went to jam it into the thing that holds it and I bent it. I'm like, oh no. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll kind of pull a little bit out and this just gives you a little bit more control than actually dripping it out of the pot as I saw the gal do in the video. So, and if you want to just drip it right out of the pot, be my guest. But this way, you're kind of not wasting your supplies, right? So you can save on a little bit of your all-purpose ink there. Alrighty. So now we're going to spray our paper. And the papers, they weren't too bad this morning. I mean, you could run these through your big shot, no problem. And they'll totally flatten right out. And if you don't have a big shot or a die-cutting platform, a... Um, Gemini or whatnot, then just iron it in between two pieces of um, parchment paper. So, oh, I just love this this one here, the uh, Bermuda Bay. I had a mental block there for a second. So down we go, and I'm just going to press down, and then I'm going to grab my paper towel and sop up all these little leaky pieces that are sneaking out around the edges. Turn that over, and that is so, so pretty. Now, it doesn't dry 100% like that, right? That's, that's the only problem is you get this alcohol ink effect, but it is um, rather soft, right? Because it's on watercolor paper, which I like that, but it really didn't give me that wow factor like the alcohol ink effect does. So I'm going to show you what I did. I grabbed a piece of photo paper and check this out. Isn't that amazing? So this was the exact same color combination as this one, but look at that. And this is the front of the photo paper. Now this one happened to be a five by seven. So I was like, oh, why am I using my five by sevens? Let's pull out my four by sixes. So I've got a stack here to show you. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So this one, was the Pacific Point and the Melon Mongbo. This was a second, I went in a second time after the first one. I think it went, nope, this way. I can't remember. This one is the Bermuda Bay and the Mango Melody with the Shimmer Spray. So I'm gonna show you the Shimmer Spray. And this one, I don't know if you can see all of that Shimmer Spray veining in there, probably not, but oh my gosh, so amazing, I love this. This one's super cool. Then I wanted to do a rainbow. So I did the rainbow and then I had a lot of ink here. So I went back with a second piece of paper right over top without re-inking and look at that. Isn't that amazing? And then I did a second rainbow, re-inked it all. And then I stamped or put my paper in, the, in it a second time without re-inking. Now these ones, I wasn't super pleased with the color. So I tested some splatter on them just what they would look like. And the splatter worked really, really well with the splatters that I talk about in my splatter and shimmer spray video. But I found that the Stampin' Up! Craft White ink did not work well. I'm still having trouble with this ink and finding a way to get it to dry. Like it's still, I mean, look, and I did these last night and it's still not dried. It, I can't get it to dry on watercolor paper and I can't get it to dry on photo paper. So then I thought, what if I went in with a solid color? I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You could cut leaves out of here. You could actually use it as a background. This has got shimmer spray on it too. I've got the mango melody. Now what I did is I did granny apple green and then I depressed it. And when I lifted it, there was a little granny apple green left, but I went in and just added some of the mango melody. And then I did a pink with the Melon Mambo and I did the uh, Champagne Mist and you can see all of the Champagne Mist veining in there. So I've got a wicked card I'm going to do with these. So it'll either be at the end of this video or in a new video, but I'm going to show you guys how I can't pick anything up with these gloves on how to do this one because this one is simply amazing. So we'll do the Pacific Point and Mango Melody first. And this one has red and that one has red. So we'll pull out a new one. And we're just going to take our Pacific Point. 
and just tap that down everywhere. Then we're going to go in with the Mango Melody. And then I'm going to go in with the Champagne Mist. I'm just going to add a little bit here and there. Oops. I won't be putting this back in my pot because I just got some blue ink on it. Now, another thing, just an FYI, if you've got too much ink in one spot, take your baby wipe and you can pick it up right off of your saran wrap before you proceed, right? Now, I'm not going to reinvent the system. I'm going to stick with the water and do this one with water. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do it with water. I'm going to do it with the um, sh the shimmer spray. Now, my shimmer spray I used on all the other ones was a mixture with the heat protectant spray for your hair, but this one is just mixed with alcohol. So I don't know what it's going to do, but I'm going to spray my photo paper. I'm going to spray that, and this is all with shimmer. And I'm going to go in, press this down, and grab one of my paper towels. And I'm just going to swap this up. I'm going to flip it over. And you can move your ink around on this one, which is kind of cool. I like that. So pulling this off. It's still sticky. I don't think it mattered which of the um, alcohol or the heat protectant spray. Now here's the cool thing. You can actually take your baby wipe and pick up these muddy areas right now. So I don't want to transfer too much color, so I'm going to reposition my baby wipe. Reposition it to a clean spot again. And all this shimmer is still on here. I'm not picking up or removing the shimmer. Like I, Some of it is removing, of course, right? But I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You don't need a heat gun. You don't need the blower thing. You don't need a straw. Now, the nice thing is, is you can take this and you can come back and you can depress it into those spots where you don't have any ink. Check that. So we just added some in that spot and over there. And I mean, I just love that. Is that not so cool? So we'll do another one. And actually what I'll do is there's a lot of ink still on here. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's a lot more muted and you don't actually add more ink to it. So I'm going to spray the shimmer spray on my photo paper, bring it down. Now this one's going to be a lot softer. It's not going to be as strong. And I'm going to take a baby wipe and I'm just going to pick this up. So a much softer effect here that I really like. And then if you are bothered by these little blank spots, just take the saran wrap where you've got some ink and just apply it there. We'll do another one. And then let's get some blue over here. And I think I'll be done with this one. You could cut, or cut, you could cut them, yes. You could die cut these, you could stamp something on them, um, and then you could fussy cut them or die cut them. And you've got, I mean, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? So this one was full intensity. And I know you can't see the shimmer on the video, but oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. And then this one is a little less intensity because we stamped that one in there the second time or depressed it in there the second time. So we'll do another color. And I really, really liked this. And I didn't do one of these, so this is the one that we're going to do. Pumpkin pie. And I'm hoping I used Bermuda Bay. I like, I almost... Oh, I don't know. It looks so much like Bermuda Bay. So let's just go with it. Let's see what happens. Now, try not to touch your other little dots there or you're going to find that uh, you cross-contaminate. Now, we'll do this one with the Frost White. Let me give it a shake. Actually, you know what? 
I'm going to stick with the champagne because the champagne will give us a little bit more of a goldy type hue and that'll kind of match with these fall type colors, right? Going in with our shimmer spray. I'll spray this one first and then spraying this one and then depressing this right on the top, giving it a good amount of pressure everywhere. It does dry back very fast. Alcohol naturally dries really quick. I mean, and if you have the alcohol blending solution, by all means, you should definitely try it. I mean, I have it. Should I try one with it? See if it makes any difference? I didn't even think of that. Pull this off. Oh my gosh, that shimmer is just to die for. Oh, I love it. I love this shimmer. Now, this one's really green, but that's okay. We've got green on here. So I'm just going to pick up. Now, I noticed... I'm going to show you what happens if you don't do this baby wipe on top. So I have one here and I didn't pick up all of my, my liquid and it pooled along the edge here. And you see there that pooling. So if you don't pick up your ink, it will in fact alter the finished effect, right? Look at that. That is so darn pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do one more really quick just to pick up the last of this ink on here because I don't really wanna waste it. And it looks like there's not much over here, so let's just add a few more. This side will be a little bit darker, but that's totally okay. And we'll just spray our shimmer spray here. All right, and one more piece of our... Now, I was... I was, I still am a scrapbooker, but I had, I have so much photo paper that it was stupid. So I'm probably going to make a lot of cards with this stuff because this is so ever cool because I have tons and tons of photo paper. So I did add a little bit of ink there on that one side because there wasn't all that much left, but there we go. Now let's clean up some of this and then we'll put a little bit more blue over there so pretty a little bit more down here and maybe a little orange over there are you running for your supplies are you like oh I gotta go see if I have photo paper what colors of reinkers do I have I gotta make some shimmer spray <laughs> Let me know if you're if you're playing along with me or if you're saving this and doing it on your own. Now, in the event that there was not enough time in the video for me to add in the actual card I made, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this and actually learned something new today. Let me know if you're going to try this. If you enjoyed this video and you like my content, definitely subscribe. Hit the little bell if you would like so you don't miss any of my uploads. And until I see you again, happy stamping. Bye.